Non-Consensual Condom Removal, Wikipedia Article Audio Non-consensual condom removal or stealthing is the practice of one sex partner covertly removing a condom, when consent has only been given by the other sex partner for condom-protected safer sex. History and Practice Legal and Ethical Concerns Impact and Risks News and media outlets have reported on a research article by Alexandra Brodsky published in the Columbia Journal of Gender and Law about stealthing. In the article, Brodsky described victims' experiences, legal implications, and legal avenues to address stealthing. The term stealthing has been in use in the gay community to describe this practice since at least 2014. Brodsky described how the practice of stealthing is discussed, described, and advocated for on various websites and forums. These forums are sometimes used to brag about committing stealthing and to share tips on how to do it. The practice has also been described as a threat to bodily agency and as a dignitary harm, and men who do this justify their actions as a natural male instinct. Columbia Law School professor Suzanne Goldberg says that the practice of stealthing is likely not new, but its promotion on the Internet among men is new. One such website, The Experience Project, posted how-to guides for men. In UK law, consent to a specific sex act, but not to any sex act without exceptions, is known as conditional consent. In 2017, a Swiss court convicted a French man for rape for removing a condom during sex against the expectations of the woman he was having sex with. A 2014 Supreme Court of Canada ruling upheld a sexual assault conviction of a man who poked holes in his condom. Existing laws in the United States do not specifically cover stealthing and there are no known legal cases about it. In her research on stealthing, Brodsky noted that Swiss and Canadian courts have prosecuted cases of condoms broken or removed by men unbeknownst to their partners. Brodsky describes stealthing as legally rape-adjacent and akin to rape. Statistics on the prevalence of stealthing are limited. However, a 2014 study by Drive Kelly Q. Davis and colleagues reported that 9.0% of participants in their sample of young men reported having engaged in condom sabotage, which included non-consensual condom removal. The National Sexual Assault Hotline reports receiving calls about stealthing. An Australian court case is underway regarding stealthing. The president of the NSW Law Society has described stealthing as sexual assault because it changes the terms of consent. By removing the condom during sex, stealthing increases the risks of pregnancy and the transmittal of STIs and STDs. Victims may experience emotional and psychological distress as well, especially those who have experienced sexual violence in the past.